On January 2nd, 2023, Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin shocked teammates and fans when he collapsed on the field with cardiac arrest. Thankfully, the quick actions taken by athletic trainer Denny Kellington and other medical personnel have led to not only Hamlin's survival, but remarkable progress in his recovery so far. This frightening event has left many people wondering, what exactly does an athletic trainer do and how are they trained to respond to these life or death situations? My name is Dr. Tim Henry. I'm a certified athletic trainer and professor of athletic training at SUNY Brockport. Let's break it down. As an athletic trainer, your primary responsibility is the health and well-being of the athletes under your care. During a game, an athletic trainer takes on the responsibility of a first responder. That means they're watching the players closely in case of any injury or illness, such as injuries to the spine, concussions, heat stroke, and cardiac arrest. Some emergencies, such as concussions, are widely known and relatively commonplace for an athletic trainer to need to respond to. But others, such as the sudden cardiac arrest DeMar Hamlin suffered during the Bills game recently, are rare and unexpected. So, athletic trainers must always be prepared for any situation. In a case like DeMar Hamlin's, the steps an athletic trainer would follow are a fairly standard procedure. First, the AT would assess the scene and stabilize the athlete's head and neck before assessing them in order to determine the nature of the injury or illness. Next, we would assess the level of consciousness and responsiveness of the athlete, as well as their breathing, pulse, and other vital functions. After that is the full body assessment to identify any other injuries such as fractures or dislocations that need to be addressed. When DeMar Hamlin fell unconscious on the field, the athletic trainer quickly determined that his pulse was diminished and then was soon completely absent. He followed the procedure efficiently, which begins with activating emergency services to get an ambulance on the scene. Then he removed all of DeMar's equipment, like his helmet and shoulder pads to expose his chest and clear his airway to begin CPR. CPR is essential to keep blood flowing through the body's vital organs, especially the brain, and substantially increases chances of survival in preserving neurological function. They got an AED on the scene, which delivers a shock to the heart and can resume normal heart rhythm. After using it on Hamlin, they were able to stabilize his heartbeat and then transport him to the hospital for further care. This was a prime example of how suddenly life-threatening emergencies can happen and how vital it is to have athletic trainers available and prepared to react in any situation. In this case, the speed and execution of the athletic trainer's actions are now widely credited is the reason DeMar Hamlin is still alive and recovering today. But the role of the athletic trainer goes far beyond just responding to injuries during games. To get to this point, they undergo extensive education and training in order to be prepared for the challenges and responsibilities of this job. All athletic trainers are required to complete a master's degree prior to certification. Students interested in athletic training begin by earning a bachelor's degree in areas such as human anatomy, kinesiology, and biomechanics. From there, they go on to complete a master's degree in athletic training with courses focusing on injury examination, therapeutic interventions, and healthcare administration. They also complete clinical rotations during which they work with real athletes and gain hands-on experience in the field. After completing their degree, they must pass a rigorous national exam in order to become a certified athletic trainer. This exam tests their knowledge and skills in areas such as injury assessment, emergency care, and rehabilitation. Now, as a certified athletic trainer, they can put their education and training to use every day. In addition to responding to injuries during games, they also work closely with athletes to treat and prevent injuries, develop rehabilitation plans, and promote overall health and wellness. An instance like DeMars is a situation that hopefully most ATs will never have to manage. But if it does happen, we are fully prepared to provide the best emergency treatment to the patient. We can only hope this will raise awareness about the important role athletic trainers play and encourage anyone working in sports and athletics to learn CPR and ensure AEDs are always available nearby so that people can get the life-saving care they need.